So we're here this morning on a, a cloudy but beautiful morning here on one of the greenways on the pathways here in Cary. And I'm here with my two buddies, um, Lee Hethcote and Cindy Pike. Most of you know Lee's Minister of Congregational Care and Cindy's a new Minister of Discipleship at White Plains. And we want to talk about the Disciples Path and this whole ministry because we've decided as a church that we're going to be um, a church that's making disciples on mission for Jesus Christ. And what does that mean and how can we um, make that happen in our lives, in our community? So Cindy, what is all this about? What does that mean for us? What it means for us is a lifestyle. When we, a lifestyle. Are, uh, when we are called um, to be disciples is the day that we enter into a journey with Jesus Christ and we're called to be his disciples. We are the ones, like it says in Matthew, to go out and spread the word. And we are supposed to go everywhere, not just in our little community, not just in our church, but in the town, in the state, in the world, we can help to change lives for the kingdom one at a time. But also what it means on this disciples path is it's a new journey for our church. Mm -hmm. There's been a study going on um, for the last two years and out of that came this, um, we want to be a disciple making church on mission for Christ. Right. So if we're all involved in this disciples path study, then that means when we get together, we're all speaking the same language. Mm -hmm. And um, what is that supposed to do for us, Lisa and Lee, if we're doing that? What is this, what is the, the hope for outcome? Well, one of the hopes that I would have, uh, and others may not have this problem, but I do, is that we get out of any tendency to play church. To play church. To play church. Just come and sit in the pew and do what I feel comfortable doing and see whether the sermon is what I like and the music is what I like. None of that. It's all about following Jesus so closely that we grow to be like Him individually, but collectively as the body of Christ. Mm. And how does that impact me in my daily living? Well, I mean, how's that? I don't get it. How does that work? You're not going to do this alone. Yeah. Because if our whole church is doing this disciples path, there's going to be so many people on the same path you are yeah. to encourage you. Amen. And for six weeks, we're offering a study and it's going to be in homes. And we're going to ask in the near future that you sign up to be involved in one of these little small discipleship groups. And out of that, you're going to learn a lot about Jesus Christ. You're going to learn a lot about yourself, but you're also going to develop new relationships. Amen. And so maybe there's a day you're feeling down and out. You have the opportunity to call Lee if she's in your group and say, look, I'm struggling with this disciples thing. Can you help me? Yeah. Amen. So um, my Sunday school class is already, we've already heard my Sunday school class is going to be teaching it. So I've probably been, you know, the small group probably thing isn't going to happen. Well, no. No? No. Mm -hmm. No. What? No, because um, it's going to be wonderful that you have a time to share that with your good and close friends in your Sunday school yeah. class. That's going to be rich, but you, there, there'll be more time when it's in a small group, the relationships, and it may be new people that you meet. Uh, you'll be able to covenant together. Like Cindy said, it become people that are encouraging and supporting each other in a way that a bigger group finds it hard to do. So it might be a both and for you. It might just be the small group. But if you do it in Sunday school, we really encourage and invite you to do it in a small group as well. We've said, uh, when we were doing the triplets, we said, we need to get to know people outside our Sunday school class. Yeah. This is something we can do. But you know, Ray, I got to thinking too, a number of years ago, David and I were invited, we were in another church. And we were invited to be a part of another time when White Plains was doing small group study. And the person that invited us invited neighbors and other folk as well. So we walked with some people from White Plains, but other people that were invited by the host. And I hope we'll all think about the people around us and if there are others who might find meaning in joining this journey, this path. That oh, wow. On. So. Um, Lee and Cindy, I can invite a neighbor if, I, sure, if maybe a sure. neighbor is interested and maybe been asking questions, maybe a good time to invite them. Hey, I'm going to be going to this group. You want to go with me? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. fine too, mm -hmm. huh? What, what, if, what if I'm at White Plains and I've just begun questioning and I'm not even really sure about Jesus, God, any of this sort of stuff. 
should is this an open thing that I can come to, or do you have to be a Christian to be part of it? Well, I think um, it's very open, right. and I think this study is for people who are in the same situation you might be, right. people who are new in their relationship with Christ, people who have been in a relationship with Christ for many, many years. And what you're going to find, again, is the relationship. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be so simply described to you. And you're going to have a workbook to take home that you too can get further in the Word to bring back the next week to discuss with your group. Mm -hmm. But also, Ray, it's not about how long you've been a Christian. It's the fact that you want to be better than where you are right now. So even if I've been a Christian for all my life, Let's say I'm 60 years old and I've never known not being a Christian. There's something here for me or not? Exactly. There's something for everybody. None of us have perfected being exactly like Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? <laughs> Dr. Lee said nobody's perfected it. I thought she had come pretty close. No, frankly. no, 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 no. <laughs> She's way back at the beginning. Yeah. But you know, we've used this language of on ramps, meaning how we come in yeah. to the body, how we become disciples. There's an honor for everybody, wherever they are, regardless of background, experience, titles. Nobody's excluded. Nobody's excluded. Mm -hmm.